Hello everyone, I am the Grand Cat and welcome to another Grand Cat review. And today we are looking at a very cool and very special exclusive figure because Jack Specific, uh, or no, this is Jack Specific, Jazzwares and the other companies never made a small classic Supersonic. There was a Supersonic classic figure made, but he came in the 20th anniversary set, which was a 4 inch uh, Supersonic, which sets really well with 4 inch figures. But we never got a 2 inch one that goes in line with the classic figures. So this is our first one um, of this. Of course, Jazzwares also gave us a very cool and exclusive Mighty the Armadillo figure as part of the classic series, which we had never actually seen a Mighty the Armadillo figure before. And it's only just now that we're going to start getting um, SBO the Chameleon, and I suspect that the wave after that will probably give us Vector the Crocodile as well, but that's not been confirmed yet, but I think it's almost confirmed. So let's look at this lovely classic Supersonic. So in this set you get the classic Amy, classic Knuckles, or no, that's the modern Knuckles, but the two-inch version, Silver and Super Shadow. So these three are all the modern figures. Amy and Supersonic are the classic figures. So. I really enjoy collecting the classic figures as the 2-inch ones and getting the modern figures as the 4-inch ones because that looks much more in line with the way that the characters are in the game. And I don't know if you guys can hear the sirens in the background, but uh, it sounds like something's going on out there. But um, yes, let's now take a look and jump right into getting our Supersonic. We have collected 50 rings and we have got our 7 Chaos Emeralds, which means that we are allowed to get our glorious... Super Saiyan Hedgehog. Um, also, as a hilarious fun fact, uh, a lot of people compare um, Super Sonic with Super Saiyan. And in English, um, Sonic turned Super um, about, I think it was about two months before uh, Goku turned Super Saiyan in English. But of course, Goku did turn Super Saiyan uh, quite some time before that in Japanese. Um, I think like the people that made Sonic were probably quite you know, large fans of Dragon Ball Z and that's where this whole idea came from because there's no way that this was accidental. So there he is in all of his glory. He's very, very cool. Uh, just look at those spikes. Uh, the back spikes don't spike up, but the head spikes do. Uh, you can see that he's got the kind of aggressive face on him. Uh, I thought that may have been a little bit of... Um, dirt there, but I think that's actually a bit of paint on there. Um, he's actually got a very aggressive face on him. Like, if you compare the eyebrows here with the eyebrows of the Sonic here, you know, he's got the much wider eyebrows in this one. It's, you know, he looks aggressive, which is absolutely fantastic to see. The hand moves up and down. Uh, there's no wrist movement. Uh, it's the same for this one. He's got a gripping hand, so it's like he can hold something. Um, I don't wonder if he was meant to originally come with a ring or something, but uh, of course the two inch figures don't come with accessories. Uh, the legs, uh, they rotate, they spin. Um, I don't know if the feet do or not yet, but uh, let's look at the legs. Um, so this should bend forward. I'm just going to make sure I'm not... Ah, okay, so the bend is here at this part there. So let's try moving it there. Okay, so it's very strange because he can <laughs> he can do side kicks, but he can't actually move his leg up. Uh, does the foot rotate? That is the question because otherwise we can do very cool um, karate kicks, but we can't actually do um, any up or forward. No, okay, I don't think I don't think the feet actually do rotate the same as the hands. So <laughs> that's that's an interesting way that they've decided to make Supersonic. But there we go. So I think if we get the feet into position, he should hopefully stand like that. He's a little bit in refusal. But for the most part, that is pretty good. I do like when they're in a kind of... A more stationary pose because with this Sonic with one hand out and the other hand kind of on his hip it's very difficult to put him in any kind of pose other than that but with this kind of thing you can have him in you know a pretty cool 
looking little pose and it's very cool to see that classic supersonic there in all his glory. In fact, actually, does he stand like that? Because he's kind of standing on one foot. So I'm just wondering if we can actually get him to... There we go, yeah. You can have him... <laughs> you can have him kicking, which is something that Supersonic has never done, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> but um, yeah, he entirely balances on one foot. Um, I think it's the weight of the, the head sculpt there, um, because this is... This is all solid, this entire headpiece there. Like, there's none of this is um, hollow. So, it's a very, very sturdy figure. It's definitely going to keep around for some time. I really love the look of this. Um, the legs are such anomaly um, because they rotate to the side rather than forward and backwards, which makes it really kind of weird to pose especially since the the uh the ankles don't rotate so hmm but there no i think he's i think he's good i think he looks fine um you can even have him standing that way i think oh no maybe not okay no you can right <laughs> Um, also, for some reason, the feet are just not aligned. You can see there that one foot is always just kind of off-ground, which I guess fits into Supersonic's character, um, if you consider it, because he is always kind of floating. So, very, very cool to see. That is one of the ones that has been missing from our collections for quite a while, and it's very lovely to see that Supersonic um, now in there at the end. Um, the only disappointing thing I would say is the um, the legs. Um, it doesn't really work because they they go for like to the left and right. Like I mean, he he can do the splits, but he can't move his. I mean, the only way to move his leg forward is to do like that. You know, <laughs> it's, it doesn't it doesn't work exactly as intended. And you can see there that the feet are not lined up with each other at all. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can fix that on camera. Um, but I th think, unfortunately, that is just the way it is. He's also, um, I don't know if you can see this, but the body is actually at a little bit of a tilt. Like, if you imagine that this is a straight line here, you can see that he actually tilts over to this side rather than, you know, standing straight up. So that's a bit of a weird thing that's going on as well. Hmm. Interesting. But, um, there we go. We finally have our Supersonic. I think if we... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we've ruined it. I was about to say, I think if you put him to the side, it would maybe look a little bit better. But, okay, there we go. There. He's standing solidly once again. But, there we go. Short little video on our Supersonic. Um, there isn't any other classic versions of the 2-inch Supersonic, so we don't have anything to compare it with, um, apart from a size comparison with the other classic figures, which you can see there sits absolutely perfectly. And of course, the spikes go upwards now, so he's just a little bit taller, and the strange way that he's leaning makes him look like he's a little bit shorter, but he's actually not. Um, if you were to do this with him, you could see that the Sonic and Supersonic are the same height as one another. So, there we go. That's going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give us a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.